guys, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Akini. I'm Benjamin. And she's my wife. <laughs> Yes, I'm his wife. I don't know why there was a glitch. I'm her husband. There was a glitch, and he's he. Wait, wait, what? Yep. Yes, you're my husband. And we're in love. <laughs> and we're in love. So, babe, today you're telling me some of the differences. It's. it's I wouldn't between say, the U.S. and Kenya. It's some of the different. Yes, yeah, some of the differences between the U.S. and Kenya, but some some things that I find. Well, most things that I find different. Well, there's a good side and then there's a bad side. So, okay. which one do you want to start with? Start with good, babe. I mean, obviously, you don't want good, to, you don't right? want, you don't want to end on a good note. People usually end on a good note. <laughs> so you want to go with the bad? First. I want to start with the bad first so that we go to the good. All right. Let's strike off the word bad and just say <laughs> observation. Oh, okay. Okay. Video. Okay, so the first thing and I'm saying them because I wrote them down here so that Benjamin tells me if I'm saying the truth or not Okay, so, number one medicine is very over advertised in America. Oh my god the moment I got here I think that was the one thing that I was asking Benjamin is this allowed? Is this legal that they are announcing medicine like every time there's a break? It's either medicine or something to do with state farm <laughs> like a good neighbor stayed from me there. Oh, but after all of that, it's medicine for everything, including including the, the actual family planning, different types of family plan, like the ones you put in your hand and they tell you, this one is the one you put in your hand or this one is the one that goes in there and it's the, mm. you know, medicine for HIV, medicine for cancer. And now the weirdest thing that I feel is that they tell you this good things. They will tell you, this medicine is good for your headache, yeah. for anything good, right? Yeah, lower your A1C. And then after that, they will give you a whole list of disadvantages or side effects of the medicine. Well, they have to give you all the warnings because they're advertising what it can do for you. And so when you're listening to the warnings, you're like, well, then what is the point of taking this thing that is going to give me all these side effects? In Kenya, we don't advertise medicine that often. If it's medicine, it's a headache medicine mm -hmm. or a stomachache medicine. And then they tell you if symptoms persist, seek medical advice and I know that because it's repetitive they always say that in every advert that they put a headache medicine or a stomach medicine they say if symptoms persist seek medical advice it's kind of like the old commercial indigestion ups the stomach diarrhea, diarrhea. <laughs> you see she's learning the uh, she's learning the commercials there's so much commercials before we start this video we just want to say thank you to scentbird for sponsoring this video scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you choose a designer fragrance and you get to do this every month oh that's cool so you get a different scent every month yes you get a different scent every month and you choose what scent that you want for just 16 dollars. yeah it's very flexible to the point where you can skip a month without any penalties that's that's actually pretty awesome yeah so if you're wondering where to start just head over to scentbird and you got a quiz on there that will actually take you through finding the perfect fragrance for you there's over 600 designer brands to choose from so you have like so many options and we got these options that benjamin picked out for me and yes. one for him because you like to smell good yes i love different scents like so I love different scents to the point where if you go to every room, it smells different in every room. <laughs> he got me three of mine. So the first one that he got himself was this Burberry. I, I was going to say Burberry, but Benjamin told me it's Burberry. 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 He <laughs> got the Burberry. This smells so good. So on Sunday, we did this together because I was like, you are not <laughs> smelling good only yourself. This smells so good. Eva La Juicy Rose. Look at that. It shows you what scents you are going to, to be to be smelling. So when you're picking it from the website, you already have like the different scents that you're going to be smelling, like the, like the very dominant scents. This one has cashmere, musk, tonka bean, marshmallow, amber, and this is a milk how they come they come like this they come so cute like so so it's perfect to throw into your purse yeah it's perfect you can throw it because we have we have so benjamin got four we have two two in the car one for me one for him mm -hmm. and then this one's in, in the house and then look at how cool that is you 
And there you go. Oh, and there is the thing. <laughs> so it's travel friendly. She, she also. likes that it pops up. I do down. like that it pops like that. Make sure you go check out Scentbad. It's going to be in the description box below. Check it out and shop with them. They actually they have so many different fragrances that you can choose from. And use our code BA55 for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That's about seven dollars for your first month. I also have exciting news. Scentbird Scent is, is a now a Sorry, babe. <laughs> I was excited to say it. I have exciting news. Scentbird is now available in Canada. Yep. Anyway, let's get on with our video. Number two. Is people complain a lot about chores. Like when you go on TikTok, this is something I didn't know until I got here. When you go on TikTok, there's always these people who are like, I have to do the laundry, I have to do this. Where in Kenya, we did it by hand. So mm -hmm. all the clothes that you're wearing for the week, I would have to put them in a bracket, bucket, wash them, hang them. It was like when you do laundry, it's a whole day affair. I remember. Kenya. Yes. The, I could hardly get a hold of her on laundry day. Yes. So, but here you have the machine, you just throw them in, you throw the soap in and you're good to go. In like one hour, the clothes are washed, you put them in the dryer, they are dried, and then you fold them and then you put them away. That's just, for us, for us who have not been growing up here, mm -hmm. it's very easy. So when I, when I would see people say, oh my God, I have to do the laundry, I have to do the dishes, I have to clean the house, I have to do this, I'm like, that seems like a very comfortable life to me. <laughs> Would you agree? Yeah, babe. And I'm not trying to bash anyone. So if you grew up in America, it's not that I'm trying to say something bad. It's just, it's a difference. It's her difference. Yes, it's my difference. So babe, what I mean, do you think of the laundromat? The laundromat? In Kenya, we have something that is kind of like a laundromat, but you don't do it yourself. Mm -hmm. It's just a place where you go, you take your clothes, they give you a number, like a number yeah, card. we have that too. Or a receipt. Once you get your receipt, you're told, come back. You're given the day where you're supposed to, or even if you're supposed to come back the same day, and that's how they do mm -hmm. the laundry. And with the laundromats, is you don't take just normal clothes, you take the delicates, like yes. a coat. A like all of my suits would go. So yes. the dry cleaners. So that's, we call them dry cleaners. Yes, the dry cleaners. Even in Kenya, we call them that. So that's how Kenyans use the dry cleaners. So that's one of the big differences. Number three, you cannot buy a phone without a phone plan. That's something that shocked me. Like in Kenya, you can go to the store, to the, the phone store, buy the phone, go buy your SIM card, and then put all the everything that you need. But here, what is the process? The phones are sold for each carrier. Of oh, the phones? Mm -hmm. So like Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile. Uh, and so the phone companies, they are like, do they have like a partnership with the com with the with the phone makers? Mm -hmm. I'm sure they do. Because if you buy a phone and you want to take it to another carrier, you have to jailbreak it. What does that mean? It means that you take it away from that carrier, so then it'll work on other carriers. Like mm -hmm. it's a, it's coded mm -hmm. in the phone. Yes. The reason how I know this is because I've been wanting a different phone and though, and then I was telling Benjamin, well, we need, we can just go buy the phone and he's like, well, we have to buy, buy it with a phone mm -hmm. plan. And I was, I didn't understand. So I was trying to tell him, babe, how do you buy every phone with a phone plan? So if you want two phones, you have to have two phone plans. But I think people right now are going to comment down below that you can go on to like Facebook, Facebook Marketplace and all those different online places mm -hmm. and you can buy used phones off of there that you can jailbreak. With their plan? Well, without a plan. But I don't want a used phone. I know, I know you don't. <laughs> that is one, that's another thing. And then the other one, this one Benjamin will agree. Americans are obsessed with Apple products. No. Yes. No. Everywhere online. So, it's like. No. Hold, hold on. There's hold on. a whole. Before I even had an Apple phone, I had my sidekick. What was your sidekick? It was my old phone. Which before one was Apple. it? It was a sidekick. You just toop and the screen flips up. She's going to have to find. But babe, how many people do you know that don't have an Apple? Especially around you in the office. Like three. But everybody else? Yeah has an iPhone, an mm -hmm. iPad, AirPods. It's like, it's like, it's, it was 
when they were making Apple products, they were making it specifically mostly for Americans and then for the rest of the world. Well, no, because it actually iPhone started selling outside of the United States before it got sold in the US. There's always a war online. And maybe it's maybe it's because you don't go online so often. You don't know there's a war between Android and Apple users. And I then think, Apple users... I think it's been declared that Apple has won that war. Apple users, Apple users online, they're always like, we have the best you know the the best image quality the best video quality samsung cannot do this or nokia cannot do this or like anything that is using android cannot do what a, a, an apple product does but there is a wall online well it's kind of like that old song anything you can do i can do better I used to do use Android. And babe, do you know I still want an Android? I do. So not. anyway, guys, the reason why I wanted a different phone is because I wanted an Android phone. I was kind She's of tired of an iPhone. Nostalgic memories of Android. Yeah, it's because there's some nostalgic. things that the Android does that the I iPhone does not do. And maybe some people will feel like I am downgrading, but I I kind of really like if you find a good Android you can stick with it for a long time and and i used to talk to you with an android i remember eh? this I whole remember. video calls i was calling you in I kenya remember, but I was if using you, but, an android but if you had had a apple phone we could have i messaged each other all the time wow babe we you could have facetimed oh i love you i love you too if i am wrong please comment down below i feel like this is your grand finale of the bad stuff this last one that you just did the iphone mm -hmm. it's not the grand finale i oh. have so much you look have, at this you have <laughs> more, of, yes. more of bad things it's not bad i'm just going through different things okay. let's not say it's bad it's just through different things okay and they are not bad actually it's just my observation let's just say my observation of america so far the next one is that parties are a huge thing in america like what you like mean? like i mean like for example we have friends they have a party if they don't invite us something is wrong bum, bum, bum. right yes yeah so usually it's like important to be invited to a party with your oh, do you friends. Those people who had that party last week. Which people? Yeah, those people. You know who you are. Which people, babe? Nobody. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, we don't know so many people that would have parties without us. Anyway, yeah, uh, parties are a huge thing, and like having barbecues in the backyard with like family and friends. And if you're not invited, you're, you know, something is wrong somewhere. Mm -hmm. They don't invite you. So is that a correct observation? It is, yes. Yeah. The other one, this one, I might, I don't know, I might be wrong, I might be right, but I feel like in Kenya, teenagers look their age, but here, look and dress their age. Let me, let me use the right words. He, in Kenya, teenagers dress like, uh, I would say their age, but here there's that, um, a teenager seems to have grown so much over their age with how they dress. Like if you go to the mall, if they told me they were a teenager, I'd be like, are you sure because of the way they're dressed? I don't know. I don't know that many teenagers in Kenya. Especially the girls. <laughs> Um, the girls here, they grow up too quickly. You know, like when, when you hear a parent saying you're growing up too quickly here, it's literal. Some kids grow up too quickly. The, you know, even the makeup they put, it's not like a childlike makeup. It's more like an adult kind of makeup, the way they dress. You know, sometimes they show extremely so much skin. And, you know, I'm just, I don't know. That's All just right. my observation. What's the next one you got? Benjamin is very uncomfortable with that one. I just I don't have that much experience. But babe, you know, at some point we're going to have teenage kids. Yes. At some point we're going to have to talk about um, is this how we want them to go out looking like? Uh, go make sure that your mom approves that <laughs> outfit before you leave. <laughs> of course, Benjamin knows that because me, the kids. <laughs> uh, speaking of teenagers, they are also in America it's normal for a teenager to have a boyfriend and a girlfriend mm -hmm. whereas in kenya when you're a teenager where are you going come back tell me where you're going who you're going with is it a boy is it a girl 
if you're going where are you coming back eh and if you don't come back at that exact time where were you who were you with don't come back pregnant because <laughs> if you come back pregnant i will chase you out of this house I think you know that happens in the u.s too babe but the way we see it, especially, I don't know, on the reality shows or on TV, it's, it, it's like the parents are not very stern about it the, in the way the African parents are. I'm not, trying, I'm not trying to touch on anybody's parenting. It's just what the TV has been showing us for a long time and we're <laughs> learning. The more I live here, the more I'm learning. Some things okay. are different from what I used to think they are. But I'm just saying that here the parents are open to letting the kids have boyfriends and girlfriends whereas in the african well i mean you didn't even tell dad that i was yeah that was existed <laughs> until the night before and i was a grown-up so you can imagine it's it's been like that for years whereas here it's it, like like the kid can come and tell you mom i have a boyfriend or dad i have a boyfriend and you're like oh what's his name can he come over for dinner like the parent is the one who's inviting them for dinner. Well, you gotta check them out and make sure they're they're okay and they're not creepy. In or... an African home, <laughs> you have a boyfriend. Why? Mm? And then boyfriend is equal to pregnancy in an African parent's house. That's usually the that's it's like it's like just that's just the math. Okay. So don't come back pregnant. Americans are very organized when it comes to seasonal shopping so like for example yes. for example if it's going towards the summer at the end of spring summer clothes start showing up at the stores or summer things anything that you use during the summer it just starts showing up so that people can buy yes yeah that's that's it's very organized in that sense and then you can't find like a bathing suit in the store during in the, the winter. winter yeah you cannot <laughs> it's like it's very specific unless you go online shopping like mm -hmm. the, like shopping online but at the actual stores that's very organized but i also feel like the african countries we only have a very cold season a very warm season and a rainy season so i mean it depends we don't have seasonal shopping this is the way it is here mm -hmm. For Christmas, it was very different because this Christmas we did pajama pictures. Yes. In Kenya, we, uh, I think m some people are growing into the whole Christmas tree and having matching uh, pajamas because what? we didn't used to do pajamas. What do you think mom and dad are going to think of their first Christmas tree when we put it up? In Kenya? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Probably should surprise them with a Christmas tree. We will. Um, in Kenya, the way we used to do Christmas is that, especially growing up as a kid, we would buy the same fabric. Mm -hmm. And then you see how I usually do the fabric for me, for you. So the fabric would be me, my mom, my dad, like everybody would look the same. It's the clothes. But here it's casual, it's dressed down, it's pajamas or ugly sweaters, mm -hmm. competition. There's yep. a competition for ugly sweaters. Yep. And they're selling it at the stores and you can wear you can wear the same pajama clothes including your dogs or your <laughs> cat it's that good so oh, i felt like that was super exciting next year the dogs can have their own outfit for yeah Wait, we are going to all have the same outfit babe mm -hmm. this one i let benjamin take in kenya we don't do shoes in the house okay i don't like shoes in the house either but babe you don't like shoes in the house after you met me before you met me, I remember video calling this guy. Shoes <laughs> in the house and he would walk with it anywhere. Even when I came when I came home from Kenya I started taking off my shoes. Yes, you did, but I'm saying that what I observe is that when I go to somebody's house, they don't tell me to take off your shoes at the door. Aunt Valley's house she does. Oh, that's a good aunt. She knows. Because <laughs> yeah, I remember when we when we went to her house the first time I got here, mm -hmm. yeah, we took off the shoes. Mm -hmm. It's not so many people who make you take off the shoes, but most people you can walk with shoes in the house. Mm -hmm. It's not so many people who make you take off the shoes, but most people you can walk with shoes in the house. This one, uh, this one is my observation living at an apartment. So we have a gym in the apartment, mm -hmm. 
but not so many people use the gym like you know how you expect to get, in the apartments gyms are usually free because it's it's for the apartment building so you would expect that it's like fully packed with people all the time but most times it's empty like like I can't imagine having a gym and having it empty that's the whole thing sometimes we see people in there but but not um, so many but not not so many and not so often so. like I know when I usually work out at mid like around mid morning at 10 or 11 I only usually have one guy at the gym he's the only person who's usually there he works out he leaves I work out I leave um, in the morning at 5 when we go with Benjamin it's just usually me and him <laughs> only there's usually nobody else even if we go at 6 it's only him in the evening I think there's that guy mm -hmm. there's like one or two people right yeah now. there's usually just like we already know who we are going to find at specific times so <laughs> and it's a huge huge it's hosting so many people but I don't know that's yeah. the thing this one American taxes are horrible <laughs> horrible i have never filed that much bad of taxes i mean mm. if you grew up here it's probably not that bad because you probably don't have a comparison between the two countries mm -hmm. but the taxes here taxes here can end up eating up most of you what you have made yeah. in a year like you have to be find a tax person who, who will teach you about taxes yes. i think that's where we can leave it at speaking about taxes let's talk about money let's talk about money in terms of hospital mm. health in america is very expensive like the health um how can i put this the health system yeah it's very expensive like you can go to get your eyes check or your just something checked mm -hmm. and the bill that will come like benjamin was telling me um having a baby could go up to a hundred thousand dollars well without what is it called without like insurance being without insurance it's going to be cheaper because they don't expect to build the company <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Should we do it without insurance? But no. you, have, you already we, have we insurance. We have good insurance, yeah. So, okay. Um, we'll wait, do it with insurance. Wait, wait, why did I say should we? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing there. We are not doing. The, the rumors are going wild on the internet right now about it, so. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. There is nothing. I'm not even joking. It sounds like there's, I'm joking. There's nothing. I'm currently on my period. All right, let's move on next. Okay. Here in America, so I don't know if it happens in every house, but the way Benjamin has set it up is that we have the way we can watch uh, stuff on the TV. Like you have different apps. You have Hulu, you the have streaming Netflix. Services. Yeah, like the streaming services mm -hmm. in America are very organized, I would say. It's a separate bill that you have to pay, which yes. we don't mind. But I feel like that puts you in, you can have you have different choices of what you would like to watch mm -hmm. so to speak yes so the way it used to be babe mm -hmm. is you would have your cable bill oh. and you would order all of your channels that you wanted and some of those channels you wouldn't want wait you would order the channels yeah so you had you wow. you'd get like a group of so your basic would be a group of like 50 channels like your local channels, That's a lot of channels. and then like your a couple so of the, the local channels are free no, you still have to pay for it. Really? Yes. We don't have to pay for local channels. Yeah, in no, Canada. you have to pay for the local cable. Ooh. And then, and then they give you like another grouping of like another twenty-five channels. They're like, oh, here's, here's the extra stuff. And then there's another grouping, and and it's not like you get to pick and choose. Okay, I want this channel, not that channel, this channel, mm -hmm. that channel. You have to choose the group of channels, and then that group of channels is what you get. And you could end up with like a three hundred dollar for TV for your cable bill, yeah. Because if you got all these channels, and some of them you don't want, but some of them you might want one channel out of that group of. And I used to complain when I would pay like two thousand dollars, like twenty dollars of Kenyan extra TV, like extra TV. So we used to have one that is called Go TV that had or DSTV that mm -hmm. had different channels that you can access and. I would pay around two thousand eight hundred or three thousand dollars. Not dollar. Hey, 
3,000 Kenyan shillings, which is around $30 or $29. So, I used to complain about that. <laughs> well, and that's why I switched over to the, the streaming services because mm -hmm. I can pick what I want to actually watch. Yeah. Um, rather than having a group of channels and some of it I don't want to watch and some of it I do want to watch. So, I think that's kind of cool that we can actually do that. So, we have Netflix, Apple TV, we have Hulu and HBO and all of those things. Paramount for Star Trek. Yeah, Paramount and all of that. On the last oh, list. And I found out mm -hmm. there's a prequel to Long uh, to Yellowstone. What is a prequel? Like before like there's the... a series of the series before the series. Okay, I've been watching Yellowstone before, so it's called 1883. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try and watch it. Yes, okay. I like I Benjamin has noticed that I like the westerns. It's not the it's not necessarily the western, but the western don't have um, overly explicit scenes. You know, those scenes where people just do stuff. I don't want to be stupid. where their bodies blow up. Yeah. <laughs> not blow up, like I mean there's not a lot of sex scenes or all of those things. It's not that I'm uncomfortable. What is that, babe? That's a sex scene. <laughs> it's not that I am uncomfortable watching the sex scene, but I also feel like what you feed your eyes goes into your soul. You know, the eyes and ears are the at the at the windows to the soul. Mm -hmm. And God says you need to guard your heart. And I'm trying to guard my heart, so I don't watch so much of those things that are very explicit. So that's why I like the Western ones. Mm -hmm. They just they talk about how to put now, or it's about mm -hmm. a big piece of land and their cows. And Longmire was doing the what is it called? I He's don't know. a police officer mm -hmm. in the Wild Wild West. I think he was a sheriff. Oh, he was a sheriff in the Wild Wild West, and, and I watch a lot of documentaries, which I find on Netflix. Benjamin, I think. The, when we met, um, what we talked about most was, what is it called, um, the documentary, mm -hmm. what was it called? Documentary stories? Yes, but the one that we both had watched. Oh, um... The police one, that one. Well, it's not, it wasn't about police, it was, uh... It's Flintstone. Flint. Flintstone, yeah. It's Flintstone. Flintstone. Flinttown. Oh. <laughs> I was saying Flintstone. Uh, Flinttown. That's the one I had watched. Somebody mm -hmm. had, had told me watch this one and then I watched it and then it, it seemed... And we talked about it while we were dating. Yeah. We, so when he... When I... I think I... Are you the one who wrote it or I'm the one who... No, you asked me about it mm -hmm. and then I told you the one I was watching currently was Flinttown. Well, because we were talking about do we ever have crises here in the US. Mm -hmm. um, I think is what we were discussing and I was like, yeah, there's actually one I'm watching this this documentary about. And yeah, and he was watching it and I told him, ah, that's funny, I was actually watching it. And so we started talking about that and mm -hmm. that was like a thing where we were talking about, did you see, blah, 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 and all of those things. And then, and then out of that, I was just, I think it also put fear in me, like, is this where I want to really go? Because if it's this bad do i really want to go mm. so he was trying to tell me no it's not that bad it's just that part that is experiencing that for now but yeah so i like to watch a lot of documentaries and he knows that so and he, i do too yeah and he finds a lot of documentaries for us to watch so sometimes sometimes on a on a on a slow day that's what we will watch yep. but i digress so let's right. go back to yes. where we were in america being on time is very important yes it's very important <laughs> When I was in Kenya, I was never on time. She was on African time. But nowadays, babe. You're getting better. You should have said like I'm 90% <laughs> better. The only thing that's made is just 10%. I'll say 85. Babe. 85. 88. 86. I'm beginning as an African. 80, 88. 86. 88 or nothing. 80, 86 is my final. <laughs> Actually, let's, let's change it. We'll change it to 87. Mm -hmm. Because 86 in the US means we're getting rid of it. So. Um, oh, okay. 87. And, and you're sticking around. 
and I'm sticking around. Yes, 87% better. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a good thing okay. that you are there. But babe, I said it's an observation. So most of them are... But you are, said there were bad ones. But now, babe, now I, said, to the I good said, ones. let's strike off the word bad and just say <laughs> observation. Oh, okay. Okay. Deal. Okay. When I came here, uh -oh, I used to see... There's a question. I used to see like these buses, they would be going. But on the buses, it's lawyers advertising themselves <laughs> and on the billboards there's lawyers like lawyers over advertise themselves here in america and if i don't know why is it like everybody is always in a battle with somebody um kind of they but it, it's their advertising um you would never find that in kenya <laughs> it's it would be so like why would a lawyer advertise themselves that much no the thing i remember seeing advertised all over the place in kenya was telecommunications. Yes, all that was the, the big advertiser. Mm -hmm. If you go to Kenya, you always see a green, like if it's green and it's glowing, it's Safaricom. Yeah, the telecommunications in Kenya, they over advertise yeah, I themselves. Rem I remember that because there would be an entire building painted green. And <laughs> yeah, and blue. Safaricom. And I really miss that. I'm actually very happy that you remember that. I do. That's I remember cool, a lot. Man. I remember a lot. Here in America, you can take anyone to court for anything. And like if someone tells you, I'll sue you, I'll sue you, some, at some point, probably take them seriously. <laughs> right, babe? Yeah. At some point. Because they can take you to court for anything. And especially like at the stores, they're very careful to tell you. Like if they, if you use this cap at the store, they will tell you, be careful. It might be hot, it might be too cold. Like <laughs> they have to indicate because... They don't want to get sued. Yes. Even, uh, even at Target, when they have the cup holders, it says... Caution, contents may be hot. Yes, so everywhere, <laughs> like the like, law is is usually looked down. Prevalent. Yeah, it's very down to the latter. Like they have, they take, they are very, really, very careful. How do you sue somebody in Kenya? Well, you don't. There are not so many people. Like, on, mostly this is how I see. This is how I have seen it. Mostly, it's the rich who sue the rich. Okay. Um, or if you want to sue someone of a piece of land, that's usually what would be like property is a huge okay. thing for suing someone, but not I came to your store and I, there was hot water and it burnt my tongue. Or I slipped and fell. And yeah, and if if you let's say you went and you ate somewhere and it burnt your tongue, you just so <laughs> and then you finish and then you finish your food and then <laughs> like it's just it's not a big deal. Okay. But here you can be sued for anything. You know, like the other day we were going around the road and Benjamin was telling me, you see, they are fixing that road because probably something happened there that they had needed to fix it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one, Benjamin maybe can explain it much better, but each state has its own rule that probably does not apply to the whole country. That's correct, yes. So you have the federal laws mm -hmm. and then you have each state law and then you have the local county laws and then you have the local city what they call ordinances how many laws am i supposed to be mastering as a lawyer well so what time do they can start construction above us six do you know why that is because that's what the building laws are that's correct wait it's a building law it's the city ordinance because the other day they were fixing up there and I was telling Benjamin, Benjamin, you need to talk to these people <laughs> not to come here very early in the morning waking me up. And it was, you know, one of those days where we are off <laughs> and, and we wake up. As, and I responded, well, babe, they're allowed to start at 6 a.m. <laughs> because in Kenya, if you just go and tell somebody, ah, 6 is too early, try and, you know, if you talk to them nicely, they will, they will, they will listen now, to you. I'm not saying that we couldn't talk to them nicely, but I know that they're working at 6 a.m. Yeah, and they're being, they are employed by somebody, yes, so they who's, need to. Who's telling them, you need to start at 6 a.m. Yeah. So. And then in Kenya, speaking of what, I mean, in Kenya, we are paid mostly per per day mm -hmm. whereas here it's per hour mm -hmm. so you're paid on the hour yep. so when benjamin tells me it's this much per hour i'm like calculate that in a day and then tell me because that's how <laughs> i know because that's how i used to be paid at where I, where i used to work like you used to be paid per day so um and the and the day that you don't come in it's strike it's stricken off yes. so you're not paid on that, that day that happens here too okay if you don't so, go into work you don't get paid unless you're on a salary mm -hmm. yeah this one shocked me. 
especially when I was thinking about going back to school and then I saw how much student loan you can <laughs> take. I mean you can you can the, the amount of student loan that you can have for going to school in this America. Babe, let me tell you something. My mom was working in the market. But even as a person who is working at the market, she could be able to pay for my school fee, mm -hmm. for, for my, what is it called? But it also depends on, don't get me wrong, it also depends on what kind of job they're doing at the market. So it's not all of them, but I know that there's some market jobs that can make, that can make enough for you to pay school fee for your child. So I went to a private school mm -hmm. when I was in yeah. primary school then in in high school i went to a public school not because we didn't have money but public schools in kenya when you're in high school and you're in a public school it means you did well when you were in your your elementary yes so you go to a public school so when you start with a private if you have the funds for a private you go to a public and then you go to the university but here it's you it's either or you can mm -hmm. either start from a private and then go to a private high school but if you're going to a private everything you're paying for yourself well there are some charters so there is there's some ways to get assistance with that okay and then and then now the higher education in america this one this country hey it's medical it's higher education mm -hmm. it's lawyers <laughs> everything is just up here generals was telling me medic medicine you can have five hundred thousand dollars worth of student loan mm -hmm. and you're thinking okay you have to finish school and then you start working and then you start paying off your loans yep in kenya you can take the loans you can take a student loan i didn't i didn't get to do a student loan because mm -hmm. at that time I was working and doing stuff at this and, and working and schooling at the same time. Sure. So, but you can actually take a loan and then pay it over time, but it's not as much as here. I used to watch TV, babe, and I would wonder why is uh, uh, like high school graduation very important in America? It's because uh, to some people that's where they cut off. It's like okay, now I have done this, I can actually go and do some other things like chase your dreams or something else. And that's why the chasing of the dreams also is a big thing mm -hmm. here because you you can only chase your dreams if you don't have the higher education that helps you to maneuver through life so chasing your dreams is very important uh, um, so that i think i understand it from that perspective Thank also you. taxes in the store as much <laughs> as you are paying taxes you're also paying taxes in the stores so for example, you go buy this book. This book is three dollars. And then in the dollar in the three dollars, there's going to probably be fifty cents worth of taxes. Right? No. Ten percent of the three dollars. Maybe thirty cents. Thirty cents. Mm -hmm. Yes, you pay plus extra. So if you go if you you know in Kenya, babe, if this book is three shillings, I go to the cashier. There's no taxes. It's already three shillings plus taxes. But in the grocery there is. The supermarket in Kenya and this book is three shillings. You will definitely give them three shillings and that's what it, the book will be mm -hmm. worth. But here if it's three dollars, you expect to give plus some additional. So when we go to the store, we usually calculate, okay, we are doing groceries, right? Mm -hmm. We calculate and then we add like something on top just to be a rough estimate of this is how much we're going to pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yes. That shocked me the first time I was here. Why do I have to pay taxes? And I was by and well, it, it wasn't even why am I paying taxes? How did that get to be so much? Yeah, I was like, how did that? It said three when we were in the thing, and then sometimes, sometimes this is something that always confuses me. We go to a place and then I see a huge chunk of meat, and it says six dollars point or per pound. per pound. So I never see the per pound, and then I ask Benjamin, Benjamin. You want to tell me this whole meat here is seven dollars something must be wrong with it and then it's like no it's per pound so i'm like what do you mean so every pound is six dollars so which means if it's 50 pounds you multiply it by six 
So now that has made me very keen at the stores. <laughs> like I have to look, does it say per pound? Does it say each? Or does it say just the amount, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, hey, I'm learning guys. <laughs> this one, this one I was shocked the first time <laughs> because the restaurants, they serve so much food, mm. right? Like when you came yeah. to Kenya, can you tell the, the difference? Mm -hmm. I can, yes. It's smaller portions. In Kenya. Yes. Here, a small, like a, what what do you say? When you go to like a McDonald's and, the, and you say a cup, <laughs> a small cup. <laughs> you get a big cup. A small cup here is the big cup in Kenya. Like it's, it's the extra large cup. The small one in America is the extra large in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And the extra large in America is a jug in Kenya. <laughs> and you can imagine there's someone who drinks the whole jug as they're driving to work or as they're driving to wherever they go. So that one, that one shocked me. I remember. Yeah, I was like, babe, what is this? You know, when, I, when we were- The first time I ever got it for she's like, I'm not gonna drink all of that. At first he was like, do you want a big, small or a large? And I, and I told him, a small will do. So they give to him the small according to the American <laughs> small. And, uh, and he's like, here. And I'm like, babe, that's, the, that's a large. That's very big. They don't have a small one. He's like, babe, this is the small. And I just looked at him with my mouth wide open. I was like, this is the small? I usually... If, if we go somewhere and they say big small cup, I usually take like, this is the thing, it's it's full up to here, I, I usually take it up to here, and then that's it, yeah. There used to be a super size too. Super size? Yeah. Is that to feed the family? Or? No, it was even bigger, but they got rid of it. Oh my goodness. After, after there was a documentary about it. So big. Yeah. So much food. like. Like if we buy a food, um, I usually cut it in threes. I will eat it today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. Mm. That's how much food they serve. That's for one person. <laughs> um, the metric system is different. You use imperial, mm -hmm. and it's kgs, pounds. So here, here they use pounds. In Kenya, we use kgs, like kilograms. Um, mm -hmm. What else? Inches, and then here. Wait, do you use inches here? We use inches here. Do you? What other thing is different? Feet. Oh, feet and hey, why do you and use feet? And pounds. And pound and all of those things. So the metric system. So if you come here, just know you're going to have to start calculating. So like for example, and miles and us we use kilometers. Kilometers, babe. Yeah. You know the shoe. The shoe that has a thing on the Nike in Kenya. <laughs> I used to say Nike, oh. and this one says Nike. So when we go to the store, he's like, "Those are nice Nike shoes." And I'm like, "What? Nike shoes? What? It's Nike, Nike, Nike. I don't know. Please comment down below. What, How do you is say Puma? Puma shoes? Okay. Right, the Puma yeah. shoes." Mm -hmm. But do you say Puma or Puma? Puma? Puma. You say Puma? Puma. Okay. The charging ports are also very different. So <laughs> when Benjamin had to come to come to Kenya, he came He came very prepared. This guy was very prepared. He had, um, uh, what is it called? An adapter that had, that had the Kenyan... I think I had like two or three of them. Yeah. That had the Kenyan charging system. So what he was using was actually American going into the Kenyan mm -hmm. system. So. That was actually smart babe. Ordering stuff at the, like for example, when we go, and Benjamin knows I don't like to do it at all. We go somewhere, we go out somewhere, and there's a whole list of foods. And then they ask you, what do you want? And then you'll hear someone saying, like for example, a Starbucks order, something matcha latte, something, something, something cold with ice and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, that's a lot. And then when we go to a food place, there's a whole list of foods that you need to say. And so I usually tell Benjamin, babe, <laughs> order for me. Because I can't say all and of I, those and things. And I order for her with pride. Yeah, so there's a lot of things that you have. In fact, to I'm gonna order for her tonight. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that you have to say that I usually don't feel very 
like confident that I will say them right. So I got you, babe. It's Binaya of me still not feeling confident. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> anyway, guys, that does it for this video. Thanks for tuning in with us. We yeah. appreciate it. Um, if there's something that you resonated with, please comment down below so that we know what you think. Um, yeah, I would like to know, especially if you moved here and those are some of the differences that you experienced or, or you know, whatever you feel, you feel like you can share with us, please comment down below. And if I was wrong, also comment down below. And we look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, until next time. Quahiri. Bye.